Doctor, do you see any fractures or perform any procedures that require blocking pronation and supination of the forearm? Or desire to hold the patient in pronation or supination? More and more we are seeing post-procedural splinting requiring the use of sugar tongue or Munster casts, whether custom made by a hand therapist or casted or splinted by a casting technician. The biggest problem with these splints is the time necessary to build them. No matter how much time is taken, they are often uncomfortable to wear and patients are not satisfied. Jamie McMillan, a certified hand therapist, approached us as to a quick, novel way to provide a comfortable and quick alternative to Munster casts and sugar tongs. And together with her, we developed the MTC Fracture Brace. It is simple to apply. It contains three specific components, a wrist or wrist and forearm component, the elbow component, which can be both in a smaller and a larger size, and then a restraining strap that goes along at the end. The first component is the wrist component. Now this can also be a wrist and forearm component, and frankly, we could use it with a thumb component as well and a thumb, wrist, and forearm splint. So there are multiple options that are available in the splint. The wrist component is really nothing more than a modified Titan wrist, which is one of our best-selling wrist splints. It slides simply onto the hand, this dorsal stay can be adjusted for larger or smaller size patients. We wrap through the web space of the thumb and then a single strap to secure the brace onto the hand. To the wrist component, we add one of the two sized elbow components. And we place the elbow right here at the bend in the, in the, in the, in the component, pull that on, onto the wrist, and at this point, we can either put the wrist in supination and hold it there, we can put the wrist in pronation and hold it there, or in a neutral position and hold it there. Simply slide the brace onto the hand, securing the Velcro, wrapping around the forearm with this restraining strap, and then taking the two ears, pulling one over and one across, and the brace application is completed. Now we actually include an optional securing strap, which we can apply anywhere along the body of the brace. I particularly like to apply it right where the two components meet each other to provide the best and most secure fit that we can. That strap wraps around, and now we've got a completed application of the brace. Instead of a 30 or 35 minute application, we've done this all within just a minute, and we can see that the patient can extend, and flex their elbow and have no pronation and supination in the wrist. How does it feel? It feels great. Yeah.